Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video about the to do app. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to change an entity. It's a pretty small task, but I'm going, I wanted to show you it anyway, because it's an advanced thing that you kind of have to know in order to do it correctly. So that's what I'm going to show you today. So we have our name property and we're going to change that to a task. We're going to make it shorter. We're going to make it unique and change it throughout the entire application. Okay. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go and jump into our code. So in our source folder under entity to do.php, we have under line 22 private name. Okay. So this is the place where the columns are defined. So here's a column, here's a column, here's a column, and here are the properties of that particular column. So what we're going to do with the name is we're going to change it to task and PHP storm actually has a pretty cool feature to rename all this. So we're going to press two or F two for refactor or shift F six for most people and then press it again. And now we can have the option to rename ancestors, which is pretty cool. So we're going to change name to task, right? And we're going to refactor. And now you can see that we have a method get name and set name and the parameter name is all going to be changed to task, get task and set task. Cool. So those are the things that we needed to change, which are these functions right here, the get task and set task, which are used to get them and set them. Then here in the true array function, we also need to change this out because we no longer use a name. We now use task and this is something that we created and it didn't alter it. And that is it for the to do PHP. Actually, no, <laughs> forgot to change the actual things. So it's going to be a string. Correct. Uh, we want the length to be no more than 10 in this case. And I'm going to do a comma here and I'm going to say unique true. Okay. So this means that it, the name needs to be unique and that the length is, can be no, no longer than 10 characters long. And in case it does happen, I'll show you what happens. Now there is a couple of changes that we need to make application wide. So in the controller, as well as in our JS files, there's a couple of things that we need to change. And again, PHP storm has an awesome feature here that we can use. So in source, we can do find or replace in path, sorry, replace in path, control shift R for shortcut. And we want to change every instance of name to task. Okay. But not every instance. So make sure that when you replace in path match case is enabled, your IDE of choice may also have features like this. If not follow along with all the things that we need to change. So let's take a look here. So something that has been named name and we want to change the task. So let's take a look here. So we have content name, but we're going to come back to that later because that's easily uh, changed with something else. So here, this message, for example, this message, we said the name or description, uh, neither the name or description was changed. We're going to change that name to task. So we're going to say replace, not replace all, but replace. And uh, that was the only thing in our source folder that needed changing. Now let's go and look for dollar sign content arrow and then name. Okay. And we're going to change that to dollar sign content arrow task. Okay. Replace all. Yes. There we go. So that's the controller altered. Now let's see if in the JavaScript file, uh, JavaScript files, what we need to change here. So let's go to our replacing path. Okay. And we're going to search for name and let's see, we got to do dot name. Okay, cool. So to do dot name context to create to do name, 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 name. Okay. So there's a bunch of cases where name is mentioned. Uh, okay. To do dot name, to do dot name. And sometimes individual mentions of name, but basically we need to change all of these. So there's no other mention of name in my files, but if there are mentions of name in your files, make sure that you don't replace those. So what we could also do is select individual things that we want to change. So I could like shift click all these to replace all of these occurrences, or I can like be specific and say, I just want to replace these three occurrences, right? So make your choices from the list that suit what you need to change and go with that. If there's like comments and things, those will also be detected. So make sure you don't, well, actually you should ch change those as well. Never mind. Never mind what I said, but <laughs> in case you have something that still needs to be renamed uh, or uh, remain name, make sure you don't change that. But pretty much all the occurrences of name here are the ones that we need to change. So I'm just going to replace all. And that should have basically done it. That's the entire application just changed to what we needed to function. So now what we need to do is we haven't made our changes to the to do.php. So all we need to do now really is go to our terminal and say PHP bin console. Oh, sorry, not bin colon bin slash console. And then we just need to make the migrations again. So M colon 
M. Okay, so we're just gonna make the migrations. Now, I don't know why this is taking a while, but there we go. And now all we need to do is doctrine migrations migrate. That's it. And the migrations have been run. Now I have a local instance here in PHP Storm with my database right here. So this little thing on the right here, which is super handy. And let's go and go to our to-do. So we have our name and description, right? So let's refresh this. So now it's called description and task. Pretty cool. And we also see that there's a unique key here for task. So task has to be unique. Pretty cool. So, and now it also has a length of varchar 10. So now it cannot be longer than 10. So pretty cool. Now all I need to do, oh, by the way, after you've done all those changes, oops, you still need to do yarn and core dev to compile your code again. So with that being done, there we go. And now let's refresh the page and boom, there it shows up. Cool. So now we should also not be able to make a similar task. So let's create new task again. Do something new. So is this going to be accepted? No, could not reach database when attempting to create a to-do. Uh, and let's see, this is also still a problem. The fact that we can just add new to-dos without anything in it. That's also a thing that we need to change and that is going to come in the upcoming video about Symphony forms so that we can actually make sure that one, it cannot be blank. Two, it only can use certain uh, like letters and whatnot using regex or regular expressions rather. And uh, that's what we're going to do in the next video. But this is how you change the entity. So we changed our name to task. Uh, it's application wide. We have changed all the things here. So summary, delete dialog. There was a name right here that we changed to task and here as well. Uh, and then in the to do table here as well, the instances of to do.name are going to be changed to task and in the context the same thing and in the controller the same thing content an arrow and then name so this thing right here change that to content task pretty simple and in the to do entity all we did was say unique is true the length is now 10 and we now have uh, the name changed to task and that's all there is to updating the entity now if you have a large application make sure you don't for, like do anything wrong here because like changing the length of something is very easy. Changing an entire name, not that easy as you can clearly see because you need to change every instance of this basically to this. So that is something that you have to keep in mind when creating and developing your application. But overall, it's doing pretty darn good. Now, is there one more thing that I wanted to mention? Uh, oh yeah, well, let's show what happens when we have something that is a longer name. So let's create a really long name here and say do something blah -de blah add that and ooh that did get added how is that possible wasn't it supposed to be a maximum of 10 characters and like how many characters is this that's quite a lot actually let's refresh oh it gets cut so again there's no validation for this whatsoever it does get pushed but only as many characters as it can take so it's not going to stop it from being like pushed to the database it's just going to cut off what is not necessary so you can see that the longer name just got completely destroyed. It just changed into a smaller one. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just add some more on this. And like, so let's see, now it, it, it complains it has to be unique. So what it does is it cuts off until here and calls it a day. That's what it does. So we need to do validation for this. Symphony forms is the answer for this. And that's what we're gonna look at in the next video. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any further questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.